That's why that can be replacing a part of the sound. Right? It's not about just remember. I go into that part and learn, I get to the point that uh, the force is good. I feel, oh, this is not enough. This is too much. I'm going to be here. The more you touch on it, the feeling of touch, you know, enough or too little or too hard. So that's the thing why we need to put it up. It's it, not about the form, right? Yeah. So, so it's good to have something like that. So that it teaches you a sensitivity, number one. How much do I impact that? That really, really how much I need. Because I go hard, no good. But if I don't have wood, I mean, I just put it up, I tap in your hand, like most people make mistakes, it's no good. So do think that wrong, either go way too hard. That's, no, right, that one's stiff. I mean, hard means that you slow. But again, the one that training without this, they get the kind of, see the time for? That one, it lacking off. Uh, so you train relax, but then you don't have a, a, a pressure test. So when the part come in, and then you kind of, kind of different. It's different because of you never experienced that kind of touching and now suddenly something going hard to your body on the react faster. So that's all it's good to have. I wait, touch every day, don't need the form, just the basic. Good. 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 touching your energy. The, the real energy. Okay. Secondly, is the footwork. Uh -huh. Footwork. I think that I'm not gonna go straight to here. Okay. If you do one time really wrong, realize that oh, leg is right here. Okay. The guy step to you will be like this, and you're not gonna back to him like this. You back to him with this angle right here, right? You attack him. You want to avoid hit your leg into the guy's leg. So that is the reason why. That's the key. Form doesn't matter at all. This guy have his form. Form is something that extra. If you have good technique, this and that. Okay? But this is the difference. So back to our time, it was even you just come in a couple months, you still allow to come up and have some. See if that okay, see if the lap so is good, see if the hands are feel right. But even you go and you do now do like this. That's wrong. Because what happened is really is you have to have so that's, that really is a, a really intense. How do I touch? I will touch. Right? That's why we're different than okay, well, I have the form or people now they teach it by make it easy way. Teach you all the form at the end, teach you the wood dump. Okay? So this way convenient because they only worry about the guy who will be with them for more than a year. The rest of them don't care. That's the wrong way of teaching. The way of teaching as soon as you learn with me so about chunk kill with my silo. As soon as you learn chunk kill, you learn chi sao, right from chi sao, you learn slowly touch to somebody's hand. This is the hand. This is the hand. This is how you start to realize that that's not enough. Not too much, then you can learn how to so your body starting to adapt to Form it doesn't matter. I can teach you right at that time. Or I just let you touch the wooden dummy, but you learn the form after. That's the technique you want more. Right. But this is as soon as you learn chunky when you sound. Especially chunky when you learn that, that. The very, the very static move and all touch. Now you immediately apply on this. Form. Okay. I move. So they teach you right away how to apply stepping and how much. What is the connection? Because I do it in the air, and nobody punches me, so all the time I think right. Right? It's the same like I learned driving, but I'm on the theory class. Right. For six months, I wasn't in the actual car yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the way when, when we learn it, as soon as you learn Chum Kim, you go to here. Here's like a co op program. Yeah. When you learn that two years, stop. Stop, learn more. Apply, see it. See if you can drive, see if a, a co-op, see how much it works. Why does it work? Does it work is I, when I hit something hard, immediately my, my body do wrong. Even I learn the form right. Yeah. So that's why the correct one is chunky, learn this. Learn this until section 5, 6, and 
go back, learn the last form, and then you learn the rest of the wood now. So this way is actually is a learn and use, and come back, learn the rest, and then finish. So that's important. So, but anyway, first look, move, step. And if you don't want to wrong and you need to step, okay, and you're strong, that's wrong. So what we avoid it's a bad knee, isn't it? So, so those who teach you body, hand, move. So the correct one when people learn putting down like this, it's not about how hard you hit or how soft you're supposed to be or how fast, it doesn't matter. This is your real home. There you go. So you click to him, you learn not to. In front of him, you learn to attack or the So they call blind side when you do whatever you learn before. Right. It's for us, for us, yeah, for us, it's not called blind side. I could be in front of him, but if I'm in front of him, then I better be shifted to the quick. If I'm on the side that, that I they call it's weak side, then I'm attacking, right? My idea, I stop with the front of the wood. I end to my strong side. I'm always stuck with the front in the fight. So that I have opportunity that we go to that side. So that's why they the chance they don't fly side. Okay, but it is like that. We start with the front. But then when you want to attack the big guy, you have to be on his side. So your center line have to attack him, his center line away. That's the deal. Right? It's not about, okay, I have to constantly look at all the line. Points. Yeah, yeah, that's why they translate that word a little bit easy to misunderstand. Yeah. Yeah, we want on the sideways, you face force, direct force with that guy. So, so we would definitely teach you that part, how to adapt, how to move. That's why we have a lot of football there. Boom, 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 hit, and I move. So the theory we're learning, if I'm in front, I gotta be quick, 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 finish it. But if I have a, a little changing, I move to the side. Now the side, I can slow down because he's over here, I'm here. But he's starting to push, I win. So if you're on the, the that side, like a little bit sideways of him, you are in control. You can be slowed down, okay, you're safe. That's what it means, right? So, Right here, so good to uh, yeah, that's the main thing. And if you go out your home, that's a man because I learned this from many different lineage. The form is so different. I learned back to the 8085 form different because that come from uh, full shank and chuck. And then I learned another one with a sand grip chuck, it's very different. The ship will be like this, like yours, right? And look here, it's very different. They're form different too. Form different, the way they use the forces are different. The other one is more loose, like what the guy learned. And then, when it was all coming, like with the elbow. So, first I thought, must be wrong with this. When Chung, how's the elbow? Elbow means you use your strength, right? But then, when all my, uh, I say, talk to see he said, listen, the Wind Chung when first start, a lot of risk that a woman would Chung on the back, back, back today, yes. But again, when they teach you a man, and then that man in the street fighting, so, you just do the risk and win the guy who go with you with the force, it would take a long time. So they the one who change you, why not? We use instruction now, hip and elbow, hip and elbow. and elbow. What you still carry on is not force against force. But what they added on now is instead of just the wrist and moving out, now they're using elbow and hip. If you need to go with him, you go elbow and hip. The win by using the structure. And then at some time you soft, you have to go back to the wrist. So they are improving the original wood chunk. Does that make sense? So that's why they're different. They're more logic, they're more scientific, they're more structural. So that's what we want to get in nowadays. And that's how they teach you a short time. And I can confront something strong, so I'm using the hip. But if I'm really weak, then I use my wrist. So we have both. And the one traditional, like the one of William Chung, this and that, they, Traditional, they still do risk a lot, which it take many years and hard training to get the speed, to get the feeling, to get the reflex. Only this risk long time. Just thinking of the guy with the chi and be able to come back on the street, take it from here. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, Hong Kong style now, not learn that anymore. No, Hong Kong is Western. So you tell them 10 years to make that good. That's why I'm gonna help them jump different. Look at them and jump, boom, boom, like, they like anime fighting. And you go, of course they're not original as Wun Chang was born, 
in Foshan, China, but they are upgraded. So now it become quick learn, quick street fighting. That's the purpose of it. Yeah, that's why you see that one the different. There's a lot of uh, like the, the city one pass for nothing. No way he brought me in direct and the game. And then I said, what the hell? I see before I don't listen. And he, he said, what the, that's what lack. That's what Yip Man would learn original. When Yip Man go to Hong Kong, when he was teaching, he started realizing about well, teaching that way many years. So he's the one that he met. He met his Sifu uh, brother. That's why that Sifu brother was left China and stayed in Hong Kong. And the way he teaches, so he might become his student second time from from, uh, from his secret brother. And that, after that, he might have a soft wind jump, traditional. He have a little bit of the of a more hard wind jump from his secret brother. So that he created a structure when you need to be strong. And then soft, you need to move away. So you have to understand that all the white people kind of confused. Soft, oh, not right. Hard, oh, no, this guy now really went chunk. The wind chunk meaning evolution. It, it involves kind of from China applied to this, right? right. But what you can learn now is the modern now. More structure, more ammo, soft when you need it, and, and strong in structure when you really need a main structure. The difference is I don't go to the big guy, I'm tapped in. Structure when I'm attacked is, is a weak angle. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why form is very different. That's how you understand it. Okay, that's the key. Alright, so we'll start again from that one and we'll catch. Good. Alright, we'll do the step. Done. Good. Form. Step forward. Okay, hands out. Good. Facing guy, 45 degrees. 
Good. So if he's here, you are there. That's it. So I don't want him to hit here. So you don't have to go too much sideways. If his hand here, I go like this. I face it. Jump in, right? So his hand over here, and you block this, yeah? And then you know that if he hit here, you are now can block, right? So that reports that an angle between you and the hand has to be right. It's not like this. If I'm in front, you block right here. Next thing I'm going to hit right here. Right, so make sure you're at 45. Yes! Jump to you. Move forward. Head. That's good. Back to the front now. Hands out. One is out. One is out is my hip. And you don't jump to you, right? So this is the hip. Put you out. Forward. So your energy goes that way. Track forward. Then you move. And now you go that way. Now raise the element higher, so make sure when you touch it, as, and if he can fight back to you, this is resistant. So don't touch your wrist, because your wrist, if he push it, he can beat you. Here, there you go. So your hip and your elbow rest on. If he falls back, hey, I got my elbow in right here. Back to the front, hands out. Good. Then reset back to the front, just out. 